in this video i will show you how to change screen saver on your smart tv so by the end of this video you should be able to use any image you want as your screen saver or even your personal images as screen saver on your smart tv over here i have my android smart tv and basically what you want to do first and foremost is to go ahead and send the images you want as your screen saver to your smart tv but if you do not know how to send images to your smart tv what you basically want to do is to go ahead and use this app known as send files to tv and once the app is installed and set up on your tv what you want to do is to come over to your mobile phone and then you want to go ahead and make sure you download and install this app on your mobile phone now from here you can just simply click on the send and it should direct you to where you can actually find images from your mobile phone and from here you can also send them to your tv so once you've been able to send all of the photos and images you want as your screen saver into your smart tv you can now proceed to making these images your screen saver on your smart tv now firstly what you want to do is to come over to the home of your smart tv and then you want to go over to the google play store or app store of your smart tv and on the google play store you want to come over to the top search bar over here and then you want to go ahead and search for the app known as photo gallery so just go ahead and search for photo gallery and you can simply see the photo gallery app over here so what you just want to do is to scroll down like so and then you want to go ahead and download and install this photo gallery app into your smart tv as you can see over here mine is already installed so what i will just do is to go ahead and open it up and now you will be presented with this particular screen now what you just want to do is to scroll down to where you have settings over here click on it just like so and then you want to go ahead and click on photo sources click on it like so now you also want to scroll down and then go ahead and click on local better at the bottom over there click on it just like so now you want to go ahead and turn on the local over here so that it can actually access files that are locally on your smart tv so just go ahead and click on on just like so and at this point you want to scroll down and click on start syncing just like so now this is going to take a minute or two for it to be able to sync and find all of the images that are on your tv and finally after it must have synced with all of the images on your smart tv what you want to do is to go ahead and click on manage content again just like so and then you should be able to see all of the images you've sent into your smart tv when you click on manage screen saver albums over here but if you still does not see the images you've sent after it must have synced for some minutes over here another thing you can actually do to make the images show is to basically go over to the home of your smart tv and then you want to go over to the file manager of your smart tv now you want to go ahead and locate the folder where those images were sent into in my case it is actually located at the image folder over here you can literally see the images i sent to my smart tv over here now what you just want to do is to go ahead and rename this particular folder to pictures now the reason is because the photo gallery app we just downloaded and installed into our smart tv only recognizes folder that are named pictures so you want to go ahead and change this to pictures and to rename your folder what you just want to do is to go over to the pictures over here and then you want to come over to your remote control and then long press on the ok button just like so and then you just want to scroll down and then click on rename over here so just go ahead and change the folder over here to pictures and after you must have renamed the folder you want to go ahead and click on done just like so now what you just want to do is to go ahead and open up the photo gallery app again on your smart tv and trust me this time you're going to find all of the images that you've sent into your smart tv now what you just want to do is to scroll down again go over to settings over here and then you want to go ahead and click on photo sources now scroll down again until you get to look how better over here and at this point you just want to go ahead and click on manage content and then come over to manage screen saver albums over here click on it now what you just want to do is to leave all of the images over here except you do not want some certain images to be used as your screen saver so you can just go ahead and select that particular image you don't want to use as your screen saver and you can actually see that it has been cancelled over there now finally once your images have been able to sync with the photo gallery app on your smart tv the final thing you want to do is to come over to the home of your smart tv over here and then you want to go over to the settings icon at the top right corner of your tv just like so and then you want to scroll down until you get to device preferences over here now scroll down again until you get to screen saver over here click on it and now you want to go ahead and set screen saver from backdrop to photo gallery and screen saver over here just go ahead and select it and now your screen saver will now be the images you've sent and synced into the photo gallery and screen saver app on your smart tv 
and from here you can just go ahead and click on start now to automatically start showing the screensaver on your smart tv so i'll just go ahead and click on start now just like so and now you can see that the screensaver on my smart tv are literally the same images i sent and synced into the photo gallery app on my smart tv now be all on how to change screensaver or set screensaver on your smart tv if you find this video useful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one